Hey what is up guys this is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can create a video file from an image and an audio file in C Sharp using FFMPEG. Okay so I have my Visual Studio open. Um, uh, this is a regular app, um, console application, right? Uh, first what I need to do is install FFMPEG that I already have installed, but if you guys don't, what you want to do is go to NuGet package. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Um, tools, okay, NuGet package for solution. All right, and what you want to browse for is, does it show up here? No, okay, so what you want to browse for is FFMPEG. Okay, so we have it here. Um, so let's see if I can find it. So basically what I'm looking for is uh, this one right here. Okay, so let me show you. So FFMPEG Sharp. Okay, so I basically have it installed not through the new Git package, but basically I downloaded the Git up on GitHub, their project, and from there I just imported it into reference. You can do that also, or just um, get it straight from here. FFMPEG MPEG Sharp is basically a library on top of FFMPEG, right? Um, which I just think makes some things easier in my opinion. Right, um, but you know you can use the other ones as well. Uh, you just have to know their API. So yeah, I had that installed. Um, so the code basically is. So first, what we need is our input image file. F I L E, and for that location, we will use let's see this one, and our image that I'm going to be using is called pick PNG. Okay, so that. Okay, so we have the image file. Um, let's put a comma. And next, we have our input audio file. Okay, um, that is pretty much the same. But it's, um, I believe I called it audio, audio.m4a. So if you have another audio file, it probably will work. Most likely if you have like a WAV or a MP3 file, it will work as well. And our output video file. Okay, so I will do it in the same location and I will name it output dot, um, it will be an MP4 file. All right, so we have our variables initialized. Next thing, what we want to do is create our FFMPEG object. So FFMPEG, um, so the encoder, oh, I think it's lowercase. Yep, uh, encoder equals new. Okay, so we created our object for the encoder, and now basically what we want to do is just run the FFMPG uh, method to basically uh, create the file. Alright, so it's basically a method called poster with audio. Okay, and this takes, can we see? So it takes three input parameters um, of all file info types. Uh, the first one is the image, second one is audio, third one is output. And we have them declared on top, so we can just use that. So notice that it was file info object, so we had to uh, cast those to file info. Okay, so input image file. So let me just copy paste that. Alright, first one was that, second one was input audio file and the third one was output video file okay oops let me fix the formatting looks kind of off but that's fine all right so these are basically this that's basically pretty much it i will run it for you guys and show you guys what it does so let's run it 
hopefully it'll start up properly. Okay, so the console is started up, it's running, so let's open this. So we can see over here it created an output.mp4 file. You can see on the bottom it says zero bytes. That means it's not completed yet, right? So you know if we refresh it, you can see it slowly increasing, right? And yep, the total is 631. So let's open it. And there it is. So yeah, there it is. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear the audio on it. So it's pretty much the same audio. Seven seconds for that, and the video is how long? The video is nine seconds because I believe it adds like a second uh, before it and after it or something. So yeah, um, you can see it it's, works perfectly good. Um, really good software I believe um, so you know if you want to dynamically create videos you can easily do it with this with just an image file and then you know just create any audio file file in the back so another thing I should mention is the app config so you do want to have this set up also so if you are using FF um, MPG sharp you want to have this setting so make sure to have this app settings add key that and then in this make sure to have um, your FF um, bin so that one would be basically in your C drive over here bin and then you have to create both these files x86 and x64 and then within both of them put these three exe files Oops. and to get to get those files you basically just uh, get it from the FF MPEG uh, website and you can download it as a zip file and then uh, you can just copy paste it here alright so it's really simple if you guys have any questions or comments you know please leave them down in the description below uh, if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you guys can stay updated to more new tricks and tips other than that, FNH out. Peace.